So when I did my Scooby-Doo Incorporated review, I touched on a new show coming out, Be Cool Scooby-Doo, a show that looked like the equivalent of Teen Titans and Teen Titans Go. And yeah, it seems to hold a lot of similarities. But there's a few things I want to address first. The first thing a lot of people have pointed out is the art style, and I already mentioned this in a previous review, but I'll be getting back to that just a little later. Another thing I noticed in the show is Daphne is actually pretty funny. It's time we made the ultimate sacrifice. I never really felt like Daphne was an extraordinarily good or even interesting character. She never really had much to her. So I really like this change. I think it brought something new to a character, in my opinion, that had very little to offer. I admit, watching the first episode gave me a smidgen of hope, as there were some funny jokes, the usual mystery formula, and a bit of suspense on the roof scene. So I admit I enjoyed it. Now, addressing the matter of design again, to me, the ghost creature almost looks like he's drawn in a different style, and I think that's a big part to do with the eyes. The ghost looks more serious than the rest of them, and it just looks odd mixing the two. Wait a minute. Ta-da! Just that one design change, and I think that could have... Well, it wouldn't have saved the show, but I think it would have given everyone a lot less to complain about. Looking into episode two, I found another thing to peeve me off. The jokes were starting to get... Bad. Everybody, quiet. But surprisingly, in this episode and a few other ones, there's this threatening nature to the monsters and villains. Look at the way this thing drags its sight. It's just such an eerie tone setter, I think it added just a little bit extra. I watched the rest of the episodes that were out after the first two, but after that the novelty had pretty much completely worn off. And that's the exact same thing that happened when I watched Teen Titans Go, before they actually got terrible anyway. I know the whole point of Scooby-Doo is to find out that the monsters aren't real, that's just the Scooby-Doo formula. I would love to see a reimagined version where real monsters can exist, and perhaps the fun would be figuring out if the monster is real or an imposter like we're used to seeing, and not like that. It'd be something new and different to bring to the franchise at least, or maybe we should just stop. Making Scooby-Doo. Stop. Just stop. <laughs>